Hi, I'm David from Sticker It. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bleed for your sticker or label design. There are lots of videos showing you how to create a bleed for simple rectangles, but it's a little different when it comes to a custom shaped sticker. Firstly, what is a bleed? A bleed is the area beyond your cut line. We print past the cut line so when your sticker or label is cut, your design goes right up to the edge. This allows for small manufacturing tolerances during cutting, so you don't get any odd looking white borders. Let's start by creating a bleed for a custom shaped sticker. To create the bleed line, we need a cut line to work from. Because it's a custom shape, we need to create this. We have a full video on how to create a cut line in Adobe Illustrator. You can find the link in the description below. I'm going to quickly create one for this design now, so if you can't follow along, please check out that video. I start by creating the basic shapes for my cut line. So I've created a rectangle and now I'm tracing the flowers to create a basic shape to work with. I then unite to make a single shape. I can use the offset path tool to create the outline. I want to smooth it a little more, so I go out another two millimeters and then come back in by two millimeters. Now I'm happy with this result. Now I have the cut line, all I need to do to create the bleed line is to click object, path, offset path. This gives me a two millimeter outline beyond my cut line. Now I can mask my green rectangle at the bottom to the bleed line by selecting them both and clicking object, clipping mask, make. Now all we have to do is to export this as a PDF by clicking file, save as, and selecting PDF. Because we've made the cut line and bleed lines, we don't need to add trim or other marks. So we can just click save PDF and this is the result. If your design is a simple rectangle, adding a bleed is nice and simple. The easiest way is when you create a new document is to add a two millimeter bleed here. You can see it creates this red line outside of the artboard. This represents your bleed. Once you've created your design, all you need to do is to go file, save as, Choose PDF and then make sure the bleed uses the document settings and you include trim marks. If you prefer to add a cut line to your document, simply add a rectangle, put it on a new layer and name that layer either through cut or kiss cut depending on the type of cut you want. Because we want this to be the outer edge of our sticker, we'll name it through cut. Then when saving, you don't need to have trim marks because the cut line is on the exported design and see how the bleed goes beyond this line. Oh, and it's worth mentioning, this line won't be printed. I hope this video helps you get beautifully printed stickers and labels. If you found it helpful, please subscribe for future tutorials and give it a like. Thanks for watching.